what STR is providing is like a community voice. You know, we, we definitely have a larger perspective, you know, talking about uh, human rights and, uh, uh, you know, uh, political struggles and uh, across the world, um, you know, militarization and uh, corporate welfare and, um, you know, all the major issues that uh, DC inflicts upon um, the huddled masses, but um, you know our our real focus is on our neighborhood and the unique character of uh, this community, uh, the Lower East Side, that has been a, a hotbed for radical activity for over a hundred years. That's what I do my show for as an expression of my role in this community, as an expression of like um, defending public spaces that are um, under threat, that are, you know, uh, this, this neighborhood is under siege. This neighborhood is being hauled away every day, piece by piece. And um, there's lots of people going with it, being swept under the rug or pushed into the river. Death as it shook you, you gave it the fool's look. I said, I am an empty page to you. Give me your hand, give me. Everyone here worked on that house. Everyone here had to bust their ass or they weren't allowed to live there. But we had rules, you know, we had to we had to make it stick. We were making a home out of a crumbling building. Held the binding light. We held the binding light. Again. My major focus is like how like, you know, the creative voice can participate in the political struggle and you know, like I'm a poet and I'm an activist and those are, those, those two things shouldn't have to be mutually exclusive. You know, New York's a very isolating place in a lot of ways, and I think the Lower East Side is one of the few places that's actually still a community. And um, it's easy for people to kind of fall into that, go home, turn on the TV, and uh, eat their dinner and try to survive mentality that, um, you know, takes so many people away from an awareness of what's really going on and on a, on a micro level, on a, on a local level, a community level. 
what people need to know is that it's possible. It's not over, you know, or that even if one garden falls, that there's still so many more to save and that there's still a chance.